of the drip. Don't be too alarmed by that. We've uh, charged the battery up of Horus overnight, and fingers crossed it should be working all right now. We're just getting ready to go underway. I woke up to this this morning. This is an absolutely incredible part of the world, in fairness to the host here, the Skylark and B&B &B have been amazing. So we're a fantastic here, please. I'd love to spend some time here and climb up the mountains here and get the views, but uh, for now, I just have to be humble and uh, accept that places like this in the world exist. How amazing. Right, we're going to get away now. We're heading towards Apple Cross. Um, the boys have put the GoPros in the, in the car. Uh, let's see what uh, let's see what we get. Jason's got a GoPro. Harlid's doing one as well. Hopefully get a bit of extra footage now. Today. Mr Piggy has uh, decided to come off Jason's exhaust and go back in the boot of my car for now. So we'll see what happens to him. And uh, yeah, so let's get underway. Let's go. No, JS needs to be in the middle. Indicate does. boys left me have stopped by the side of the road because I found some hairy cows. Look. Two of them. Island cows. Oop, there they're off. So happy to see them though. So this is the uh, the famous Apple Cross uh, route. I uh, definitely wouldn't attempt this in a camper van or anything much longer, about six meters if I were you. Um, as you'll see now from the roads, it's very twisty and there's quite a few hairpins. Um, amazing piece of road. Um, 
I did do some uh, audio when I was filming, but it was so windy there that I've had to delete um, the audio off this uh, clip because you just couldn't hear anything else bar the wind noise in the background. But uh, Alid and Jason went first. I filmed them going down the hill and then I uh, followed on with Horace um, a short while later. So the later clip uh, is, is me going down there on my own.
lights. doing the fuel bill and uh, a couple of other bits and so started out this morning and filled up in Oulapool um, and I start I'll start today I put 46 pound 80s worth of fuel in Horace 46 80 which was 24 litres of fuel um, at 194 pence a litre one pound ninety four. One ninety four. Can't believe it. Um, so that's me for today. Who's next, Chase? Um, right. tw twenty one liters. Twenty one liters for me, which is forty two. Forty two. Two quid. But two like we said liter. earlier, um, yes. So I had I had a bit of an extra journey because we had to. Yeah, so we're back to get a battery, going. didn't we? So from we're, Wick. So count, I, yeah, we're discounting a couple of litres off your Yeah, well, it's two litres, you said. Not minus two, two litres. No, you said two litres, I said three. <laughs> 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 we had to actually finalised it. Uh -huh. It depends how much of a feather thought you were doing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was foggy as well. Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mine, uh, <laughs> 18.8. Three litres. Eighteen point three three litres. Uh, which came to thirty-six pounds sixty-four. Thirty-six pounds sixty-four pen. Oh, that was a two two pound litre, wasn't it? That was one Charge batteries, <laughs> fully charged. Horace is now a hybrid. Horace yeah. hybrid. Yeah. Horace hybrid. Because yeah, it needs two near. batteries a day. Um, but yeah, fuel is nearly there, and we'll have the final score uh, currently. Uh, well, we discounted the first day, but I'm showing on four stops. Uh, you probably can't see that on there actually. Arled and Jason are on three apiece, and it's raining. Which we said was going to be three apiece, really, <laughs> for, for us in the journey. Yeah, yeah. yeah complete. So one more fuel up in the morning, and probably just when we get home and fuel up the bridge. Just as well. okay. so we'll find out. Find out. Find out. Find out. Cost and see where it is. Yes. There we are. Right. Cool. I think they should see what we are looking at. Yes. Yeah. It's a clack in there. So Absolutely. we are in the Caledonian Hotel and we're sitting out and that's the view. We, we can't, um, yeah, it's behind this one, we can't really <laughs> see it, but <laughs> it's over there. Right, cool. Wait, wait, so we're, phone, we're back on the map of the UK then, and just getting everything ready, yeah, because we're outdoors filming. So, we started out today up here in Ardmar, Ardmar. which is just by Ulapool. 
on our first stop of the day then we just drove down where well, we just went into all the pool and got uh, fuel well, didn't we first of all and, and battery, charges. battery charges, charges because Horus is horrible Horus and is hybrid hi hybrid Horus uh, the horrid horrid hybrid <laughs> <laughs> Horus the horrid hybrid I'm actually wearing a Horus t-shirt today as well just to add to <laughs> the Horusness <laughs> Horus yeah <laughs> um, yes yeah, so we started there where do we go from there because I haven't got a clue well Let's have a look. So we, we find the, the hole in the hole, table. Yeah, well. so that, we, we need to go to Fort William, but so, we have to go. That's where we are now. We do Apple Cross. Across, yeah. So we went across there, following this track. Technically, we went all the way around. Yeah, all the way around the other side. On around the other side. Then we cut back across by this lake to go back down this way, and eh? To Fort William. To Fort William. Yeah, but somewhere amongst that we went to Apple Cross as well. Apple Cross, and, where uh, Apple Cross, I think Apple Cross is somewhere around about here. Yeah, yeah, put a marker on there then and write Apple Cross. Because this is an informative map and tells people exactly where to go, should you need to. Um, and at Apple Cross there's a bit of a road there, isn't it, in fairness? Yes. Just a bit. I'm steep. <laughs> Very so, steep. Somebody did an break turn. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I didn't we see them. We've seen them do it. We, we yeah. stick to the uh, laws yeah. of the highway. Yes. Top tip do not go up Apple Cross in a camper van ever. No. Or a bus. Over, Over six metres long. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's raining. Yeah. Bugger. Hang on. <laughs> quick, quick. Yeah, quick. So. Ended up the day then all the way back down in Fort William, which is the end of the NCF 500 tour. So we have gone all the way up around here, all the way around the course and back, and we've ended up back where we started in Fort William. And so happy days, boys. It's last, um, pretty much the last night of the tour, isn't it? Last night of the tour. Last we're um, heading back home in the morning, but we're going to go back via Glencoe, Glencoe, which is around about here. Yeah, we, we 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 drove past Glencoe on the way up to Fort William yes, on the yeah. first day, but we didn't stop there because we knew we were coming back here tomorrow. Um, and Glencoe is sort of semi-famous in this part for one very good reason. It was used in um, James Bond, James James Bond, Bond movie Skyfall. Skyfall. Skyfall uh, There's a very particular road there that they used to film the scene with... Um, uh, the Aston Martin with, um, when uh, Bond stops with them to just sort of look at the valley yeah, and uh, on this way, so we're going to try and find that road and try and park the minis in the, the, either the same spot or a very similar spot in the morning um, and have a look there and see where we can do a bit of filming and then uh, we're going to head all the way back down then not not across here <laughs> all the way back down around here and then back Unless up Unless Horace has uh, got a bit of are we gonna are we, break break yeah down. yeah hopefully not we've got two batteries for Horace now one's a brand new one and one's the old one which it turns out it wasn't broken after all it was the alternator um we don't know whether the alternator is still working or whether it's Intimate. absolutely knackered but uh it lasted about five hours before the battery packed up today and then it lasted another couple of hours and packed up literally about 200 yards in that direction <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we had to change the battery again, again to get the car round the corner and over into the hotel there. Good old Hector was charging the uh, spare battery yeah. up in the boot. Yeah, so in fairness. The, uh, <laughs> by Hamish's inverter. Hamish's so, inverter. The red. <laughs> yeah. the red so we car. are chipping in. Yeah. Team red. Yeah. Team yeah. Team yeah. The, red. the red car's providing some entertainment no on this route. Here. No. But, uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. I'm going to pack this map away now because I don't want it to get wet. Um, oh yeah. End of day four.